Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Samantha Farley and I want to give you another update about my current symptoms. So last you all heard, I got my test results back and there were positive results for celiac disease. So my allergist recommended that I go to see a gastroenterologist. And so I went and did that last week. I went and saw her and she said, you know, based on my numbers, she does also think I have celiac, but she recommends that I go and get a endoscopy to confirm. And that was actually this morning. So I went at 8.30 a.m. to the procedure office for an endoscopy and they put the tube down my throat to look more at my small intestine. For those of you that don't know, an endoscopy basically is just like this long tube that has a camera at the end and also a clamp and they put me to sleep for it. It's a very, very quick procedure. It, I think it literally took eight minutes for them to do it, but they put me to sleep and then they put the tube down my throat all the way to the very top of my small intestine. They take a bunch of pictures along the way and then they also do a biopsy, which basically means they grab pieces of my small intestine to be tested later in the lab to confirm the celiac diagnosis. I spoke with the surgeon after I woke up. Like I mentioned again, it literally took eight minutes. I was there so, I was in and out so quick. But he came and spoke to me afterwards after I woke up and he actually informed me that my small intestine looks completely normal. Which really surprises me because the gastroenterologist was like pretty sure I had celiac. And he said, that doesn't necessarily mean I don't have celiac, but the good news is like your small intestine is normal. So there's not that much damage done yet at this point. He recommended that I continue to follow that gluten-free diet until I get the biopsy result back from when he took the snippets of my small intestine. He said that will be about 10 to 14 days down the road. So unfortunately I'm not gonna have any more answers for another 10 to 14 days, which is okay. He just told me to do gluten-free for the next two weeks, just in case. So I'm going to follow that. But overall, my procedure was so easy this morning. And like, if you ever have to get one of those done, it was easy. And I'm a little tired now. I mean, it's been a couple hours since the procedure was done. I'm a little tired just, you know, because they gave me anesthesia. But other than that, I feel completely fine. So for the next couple of weeks, I'll be going gluten-free to see if I actually do have celiac. Once again, based on the photos, my small intestine looks normal, so I may not have it. I may just have a gluten sensitivity. I'm not really sure. I also ordered a gluten sensitivity test to test other things that I've been eating to see if maybe there's something that's elevated that I'm unaware of. All of you know I already did the allergy test, so I don't have any allergies, but there's a difference between having an allergy, a sensitivity, and then full-blown celiac. So I wanted to do a sensitivity test to see, maybe it is just a gluten sensitivity, maybe I have a sensitivity to something else, maybe I have dairy sensitivity. I mean, I, you guys know I eat my yogurt bowls every morning, so maybe I have a sensitivity to yogurt, maybe I have a sensitivity to nuts. I mean, like, who really knows? So I ordered one of those tests online to get done, but once again, that's gonna take another two to three weeks to get complete. So unfortunately I'm not gonna have answers for a while, but hopefully the gluten-free diet that I'll be following over the next couple of weeks gives me some relief from the pain that I'm having. I wanna thank you all again so much for your emails and your comments and your suggestions and all of that in your own personal stories, sharing those with me. It's really helpful and I'm glad it sounds bad, but I'm glad I'm not the only one going through some things like this and I, I'm sorry that it's happening to you too, but I'm so happy you're all here, you know, watching these videos with me and just being a part and supporting me as well. And uh, you're going to have to stay tuned for a couple weeks to find out what's going on with me, but hopefully for the next week's video, I'll maybe be feeling a little bit better. <laughs> but I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!